Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I have another Sew the Look video for you. So um, a couple weeks ago now maybe I did a video on eight ready to wear summer ready to wear looks that I really wanted to recreate throughout the summer um, just kind of as we go. So um, I have started that's this uh, is the first one of those um, and my plan is to kind of hit the really summer ones summery ones at the beginning because I have a few that can very easily transition into fall so those will probably be done more you know at the end of summer probably um, just because I thought that kind of made sense. So today I have a recreation of this beautiful Everlane dress that is I think that's just called the smock dress and actually when I got on to get more pictures of it today, um, I noticed that there's only one colorway that's uh, still available. The rest of it's all been sold out. So um, I feel very fortunate that um, I am able to make my own. So basically, I saw this dress, loved it, loved the orange. The orange is now completely sold out. I'll show this gal. I think this just shows the uh, lines in the picture and the just the dress in general just a little bit better um, and then I'll show you the version that I made but I really really love number one the smocking so shearing elastic shearing is very very in right now and it's just super comfortable to wear because it gives it's almost like a knit it's like you're turning a woven into a knit almost um, and it's been a long time since I've done shearing and I really just kind of wanted to try that technique out again um, I love the um, the thicker straps I think that's fantastic for bra <laughs> And I love the midi length, but not only that, I love that added ruffle at the bottom that really gives almost that bohemian um, flair to it. So that's really what drew me to the dress. And this dress also has pockets. Now the Everlane dress is only $88, um, so if you are, you know, wanting to just purchase, it's not a break the bank type of dress. I mean, it's not cheap, but it's not a break the bank type of dress. Um, but I recreated mine for a lot less and I used Liberty, Liberty Tana Lawn, so I even used the good stuff. So before I get to my dress though, I just want to show you, hopefully showing you some pictures, a little bit more of the dress. Um, so the version that I wanted to make was this one. Um, and there wasn't like a really good picture of her wearing this dress. So she, that's why I wanted to show the other versions as well. Um, but I loved the small print in the blue. I just thought that was very interesting and something just a little different than having just a solid. You guys know I love my solids and love to wear solids, but um, it was just, it gave kind of the illusion of being a solid, but you could still see a little bit of texture, I guess, there with the uh, print. And the same is with this other, I think this is called sandstone, this other color that they offer. There's a slight print in this one as well. It's kind of a tone on tone print, um, but I just really liked that. I thought it added just a little something extra to the dress and made it something a little different. And consequently, I had some Liberty Tana Lawn in my stash that kind of had the same, evoked the same feeling, um, which I thought would be perfect for the dress. All right, so let's talk about the pattern first. So when I saw this dress, I immediately thought of the Coco Wawa Crafts raspberry jumpsuit and dress. I've never sewn a Coco Wawa Craft pattern um, for no reason. I just haven't. I mean, there's just so many. You can't sew them all. Um, but I just, I, I follow... Um, Anna on uh, YouTube, and I love her little YouTube channel. I just have not sewn up one of her patterns yet. So I uh, bought this one because I thought, oh, that sheared bodice would be perfect for the look that I'm going for, for this Everlane dress. Um, it This dress version in this pattern is a midi length dress, so I'm gonna talk about how um, I did the hacks at the end. Um, but yeah, I, I thought that this pattern would be a perfect base with some very minimal hacking and I had to do just very minimal hacking. So let's talk about my dress. So here is my version of the Everlane dress. So I used, once again, this Liberty Tunnel On and this gorgeous print. And I want to show you kind of up close. It actually has a scene. There's people on it and stuff. I don't know if the camera is even going to pick it up. It's actually so hard to see that I kept having to like check and make sure that my people were right side up because it is directional <laughs> when I was sewing the pieces together. Because basically this pattern, it's a very simple pattern. You have two skirt pieces, um, the front and the back, they're the same. And then the bodice, the front and the back are the same because you get all of your fitting with the shearing. Um, so yeah, you basically just do a narrow hem here at the top and then you shear these pa two panels and then they get sewn at the side seams attached to the skirt. There are pockets that come in this, which I put in, um, which are very nice. Um, definitely put a tag in it so you know which one's the back because uh, I have my pockets going towards the front, um, just the way I pressed my side seams and sewed my hems and stuff. So uh, yeah, it was very easy. 
Okay, let's talk about the shearing for just a second. This is not hard, and actually Anna has a wonderful tutorial on her YouTube channel of how to do the shearing for this pattern. Um, I did, I actually didn't find that I had to do as many tweaks to my machine as she does, because uh, you can adjust the bobbin case actually is where you can get a lot of the, um, the tension stuff worked out, but I found I didn't need to adjust my bobbin at all. So, and I did it on my industrial sewing machine. So I am gonna show you guys a tutorial in between as soon as the um, swimsuit um, sew along is over before my next sundress. I'm gonna do another Butterick pattern, uh, dress pattern uh, for a sew along, but it's in between those two, I'm gonna do just a quick little tutorial on how I did my shearing. Cause I also didn't go quite as in depth as um, she did with like tying off the ends and stuff. Um, anyway, I'll go get into that more on that video. I love this dress so much. I love this dress so much. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. The shearing's supposed to hit right at your natural waist, um, and mine's pretty much right there. It's super comfortable because it's still pretty easy breezy around your um, waist area. Um, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of dresses like back in the 80s, like little girl dresses a little bit, but I kind of really love that about it. Okay, so let's talk about hacks, how I made it look like the original dress. So this pattern comes with three different um, strap options for your jumpsuit, romper, or dress. It has um, a, like a skinny spaghetti style strap that you can tie at the top, which is really cute. It has one where you can get a decorative ring and kind of clip it in, which is also a really fun strap. And then she has one that has a ruffle, a strap that's got a ruffle on it, if you want some of that added, which actually is a very, it's probably my favorite one of the three. I just can't wear ruffles on my shoulders. It just makes me look too broad, but I think it is so cute. However, um, I wanted a thick strap because that's what the original dress had and I want a thick strap to cover my bra because I always wear a bra and I hate strapless bras. So I actually used the strap piece that goes with the ruffle, but I just omitted the ruffle. <laughs> so that was a super easy. I was very pleased to see, oh, I don't even have to draft any of that. I'll just use that piece. And it's worked out perfectly. It covers my bra perfectly. Um, and then I mentioned that the dress actually has um, it's midi length and so I did adjust, I just measured the length of the skirt and then kind of put a measuring on my body where I wanted it to hit on me. I needed to shorten the skirt by two inches so I did that first and then I decided that I, I wanted to add this bottom tier, um, this ruffle tier to the bottom of the dress. So I, um, things in thirds always <clears throat> look, it's just pleasing to the eye when you do things in thirds. So I measured the length of the skirt once I had taken the two inches out for my height for the length that I wanted, uh, measured the length of the skirt, and then I cut it, um, those measurements into thirds. So I left two thirds of that measurement um, at the skirt, and that's where I cut it off um, for, for this dress. And then the remaining um, length that I still wanted, which was the last third of that measurement, I just cut um, that length into widths of fabric. And I went the entire width of the fabric and it took me like two and a half widths. So I do have some hidden seams in here in my ruffles. And then the way I gathered was um, I used my ruffle foot on my um, serger. So it, the way it works is that it's got um, kind of a place where you can slide your top layer in and then you put the bottom layer of fabric, which is the ruffle, against the feed dogs, and you can push up your differential feed up to two, which is the highest mine will go, which means it is feeding stuff through slower than the top fabric. So it will gather it for you. It's actually really lovely. Now the problem is, is it's almost impossible to get it like right on. So you just have to have a lot of fabric for the ruffle and then just cut off the ends um, when you're finished. So I just did that to attach my ruffle and it went super quickly and I'm very, very glad that I um, went with that route. Um, then I did just a little narrow hem on the bottom, but I'm really, um, to finish that off, I'm really pleased though with how the proportions turned out on the dress. So the skirt hits right about my waist and then um, I like that it is, you know, two thirds of the length is here and then the bottom third is there. So I shortened my skirt, like I said, by two inches and then this bottom um, panel here is 10 and a half inches long and that included um, the seam allowance to attach it and the hem. So just to give you a little idea. Um, again, I left the pockets in, but I just, 
I just am so pleased with this. I had it on earlier to take pictures and I, this is gonna get so much wear, especially in the days to come. We're supposed to have some really hot weather. And it's just a perfect sundress because it covers my bra straps, leaves me nice and cool. It is a cotton lawn, so it is, um, I mean, it's just a breathable fabric, nice and lightweight, um, real airy. It does not hug your body very much. It does around the bust, just the way the shearing works, but the shearing's not super tight. It has a lot of give, so it just makes it really comfortable in the waist. I would really, really recommend this pattern. I'm, yeah, I will make more. <laughs> and I kind of wonder in a lightweight linen, it would be really pretty. And it's also fun to do the shearing. And I didn't need as much, um, I bought six spools of thread. I'll leave a link to the uh, elastic thread that I used down below. Um, but I did buy the six spools that she suggested, but I didn't even use one. So I'm not sure why. <laughs> and I did tests and stuff like that. But um, anyway, I used the Dritz elastic thread. So I will link that down below if you're interested. And then there's also elastic, um, clear elastic in the waist. She has you gather the um, skirt with using clear elastic, which is such a fun and easy um, technique. I've done it before, but it's a wonderful, it's part of the pattern. So it's a lovely little tip. It just does really beautiful gathers um, to gather that to the bodice. Because normally I hate doing gathers, but for a dress that has a lot of gathers, I feel like I got around having to do a lot of the really painful ones. <laughs> So there we have it. That is my Everlane dress, so the look, and this is my entry into the um, Make That Look 2020, which is the challenge being run by Lisa and Whitney over on Instagram. I will leave all the information for that, where you can find the information for that, down below in the description box. Um, if you want to participate in that challenge as well, it's just a lot. I think it's just a lot of fun. So um, yeah, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed number one of my summer looks that I'm going to be recreating. Um, and yeah, hopefully we'll have number two here pretty quickly. All right, Sunday is my um, part three of the swimsuit sew along. There'll be four parts total, so you still have one more week of that. And um, I'm not sure what I'm doing on Tuesday yet, so stay tuned. Uh, if you are in the U.S., happy 4th of July tomorrow. I hope you guys have a wonderful, safe holiday weekend. Uh, we are still in a pandemic, remember? <laughs> so yeah, stay safe and also around fireworks period. Um, and I will see you guys on Sunday and then again on Tuesday. Have a good weekend. Bye.